and it's now time for our discussion. Our guest is already seated here, and his name is Papa Kwame Amponsa, known by his stage name as Mr. Silver. And he is a British Ghanaian artist, and he's graced our studio. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And welcome to the table of life. Thank you. We are wearing yellow, yellow. Oh. Say again? <laughs> yellow, yellow. Oh, yellow, yellow. 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 You know, yeah, see. This one, yeah. Yellow, yellow, vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellow, yellow. I think your other machine was in a way. This is more like Harry. This is also yellow. This, this is, is more like No, by first marching, it's allowed. This is more like Harry, but it's, 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 good. it's good. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I can't complain, man. You know? I mean, you, you brought your debut EP in 2012. Yeah, man. Before that, how long were you doing music before um, you dropped the EP? I say from a child, I've always been interested mm. in music. Um, predominantly because of maybe my, my senior brothers will always play music and you follow your senior brothers and things like that. Um, at the same time, I think obviously church as well. No. Oh. So going to church, obviously being young, your mother and father will say, oh, Yenko, I'm sorry. <laughs> and them kind of things. So you go to church, they go feel make you sing for the mm -hmm. choir, they go feel make you sing for groups and things. So that kind of brought that vibe into mm -hmm. me. And then in school as well, like you find me rapping in the playgrounds from young, but I'll say seriously, from about 2008, that's okay. when I really said, okay, I'm going to embark on this journey um, and take it serious. Yeah. I, I want to find out, you, you're based in UK, right? Yeah, I'm based in okay, the UK. Okay, but now you are in Ghana. Now I'm in Ghana, yeah. For, for life or you just yeah, for, coming well, and go? Yeah, I'll be here. I'm going to predominantly base myself here. Okay. Um, but I will go obviously back and forth because I do have things going on there as well. Great. Yeah. How how difficult is it for you to make it in the UK music scene? Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy thing <laughs> to do at all. I'd say because <laughs> the market is 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 bright is wide because you have different forms of people from different places. You know what I mean. So Nigerians, Ghanaians, Zimbabwe, Uganda, so many different kind of people, um, and then especially for what I was trying to do at the time that I was doing it as well, around 2011, 2012, doing an African thing wasn't a cool thing to be doing, you know what I mean? So I was kind of one of the first people to kind of bring that wave yeah. like into Europe or into like that platform and carry Afrobeats and flag bear it in a way that it's a cool thing to now be African. Because when we was young, in school, when you're in Europe, they, they, they look down on Africans, you know what mm. I mean? So for yeah. instance, like my name, Papa Kwame, Imagine you're in class, I'm more bold than for register. I'm more bold than Papa Kwame. I'm sure they'll have a way of pronouncing it. Like a woman, Lisa. You know what I'm saying? So, already, you're already behind. So, they look at you some way, but I always had this kind of pride and courage in me to say, nah, my name is a unique self. You, they call me this. Some of you people are, not to be rude, some of you are carrying slave name. Yeah, I'm carrying a traditional. I, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a strong name. You understand? <laughs> so, yeah, it's not easy to break through at all. Yeah. But, like I said, being one of the leaders over there in terms of the African I asked that question tried. because you, you're doing so well. I mean, having your your playlists, uh, you being playlisted by BBC One Extra yeah. and having your songs on Capital Extra and all that. Yeah, man. Yeah, how man. did you do it then? Um, Especially when you were not signed. How there you go. You I it? think it's God. Mm. It's the mm. grace of God, to be fair, because... Like me, like when I was growing up, yeah, like my influences, some of my influences weren't good. I went through a lot of troubles being young. I was very stubborn. Uh, were you in the hood? I was in the hood. Ooh. You know, I was, yeah. I was in the hood, you know. Um, situations where self, I go free go cut, but they won't put me for prison and things and Whoa. things. But by the grace of God, yeah. it didn't happen. And my parents made the decision, said, Umber, bring me to Ghana. Uh. So I came to Ghana. I've oh, seen okay. the story. Yeah, man. And then in coming to Ghana, I mean, like, it just reshaped me as a human being, coming around my people, seeing mm -hmm. how they move, mm -hmm. you know, going to school here, small, yeah. and seeing how the discipline is. And, okay, I'm privileged now to, obviously, I'm in a, in a country that's further developed than Ghana. Yeah. So yeah. let me now just focus and say, no, Charlie, mm -hmm. you know, for joke, for there. You know what I mean? And then it gave me that more of a cultural feeling, mm. which pursued, made me to pursue more yeah. of what I'm doing. And that's what led me to kind of push. And then, like I said, it's just the grace of God that I did the sound. Mm -hmm. And it just happened. And it was just like, like people mm -hmm. were like, yo, 
this guy is doing this thing. This is cool. Let's embrace it now. And yeah, that, that's how it came around. It wasn't like <laughs> I went to some people, I went to some PR, uh -huh. hey, make we go do this thing, do yeah. that thing. It's like I did my house, I did sleep self. The song they pop, they call me BBC. Oh, I just, it's Kwame. I said, yeah. Wow. They said, oh, um, we want to put your song on the playlist. I said, wow. My song, why me? Of all people, yeah. say, you go choose my song to be on the playlist. Yeah. No, I'm the only guy, no, no label. All mm -hmm. the other people have labels to enter that playlist, but by the grace, I was able to enter that playlist, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm grateful for that, man. I think I understand when you say by the grace, because indeed, a lot of people have to struggle their way through to be able yeah. to get their song out there to me. play on even regular uh, radio stations. Yeah, man. But I mean, from that, it's, it's a big one. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, yeah man. And, yeah, and man. so Grace is speaking on your behalf. Yeah. But there's one line in your music, and I would like you to explain okay. to us. Uh, I want a sweet girl, sweet like sugar, sugar cane. cane. Mm. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'll be you for, you for Bob now. Oh, yeah, I don't know if it's Bob. Many it's sweet girls here now. bad man thing. <laughs> right. Um, I wouldn't say bad man thing per se, but, you know, it's, it's still, it's gentleman like as well. Ooh. You want a sweet woman, you know. Or is it wrong for me to have a sweet know, woman? I don't know, it's not. You know, <laughs> and the sweet woman for Ghana, so I just yeah. see, I want a sweet one like Sugar King. But, you know, but Papa Kwame, how, uh, you know, like Mr. Silva. <laughs> no, no, yeah, how, I go how, No, Papa Kwame is nice, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really okay. cool. Okay. How, how important is your roots to you mm -hmm. and, you know, translating that into your music, as you've mentioned? Mm. Um, like I said, my roots is everything, man. Especially when you're born outside. You can lose your identity very mm. easy. True. You know what I mean? So yeah. for me, it's my everything, man. Literally. My name self, they tell me everything, say, Charlie. You for find your roots. Hence why I've come back home. And I feel like Ghana, too, is like the gateway yeah. to Afrobeats, if I'm honest with you. Because if we look at the likes of Burner Boy, Whiskey, Mr. Easy, they all pass through Ghana before they go further. You know what I mean? Um, other artists, they there, like uh, Naira Mali goes to Africa. If you come to your roots, there's something about coming yeah, back to your roots yeah. Yeah. that allows you to move forward. And, and Ghana is one of those points where you have to come home because it's a gateway in terms of Afrobeats, you know? Great. I was reading an article. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's exactly what you said, mm -hmm. but you could uh, correct me. The article said that when you wanted, you had worked with a number of Ghanaian acts, yeah. like Stage A, that was 2012, yeah, yeah, then, yeah. Stage A, um, and some others. But they couldn't match up to the pace or you were, you were finding it difficult to get Ghanaian acts on your song. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, what, I, that. Mm. I don't know. I think like, when I was, when I, sometimes when I was coming, I felt like uh, there, was a, there was a vibe like some artists or some, some industry heads were like, oh, that's not how we they do it for Ghana. That kind of thing. Okay. So I felt like, no, because I'm seeing something, you know, like the, what Afrobeats is now, I saw it. Mm. I saw it 2012, 2011, from when they was putting my song on playlist and all those things that was happening, going to arenas, opening for Whiskey's first big ever show in London, those wow. kind of things I was doing. I saw that, no, this genre is going to be massive, you know what I mean? And I felt like we had a chance as Ghana with Azonto mm -hmm. and the sounds that we were projecting that were going international that we could really go forward. So I wanted to really collaborate with a lot of artists and see how... I could help create more attention towards the Ghana industry. You know what I mean? But guys, some guys were slow, some were on it. The likes of EO, he was on it. Um, the likes of Stay J was on it. The likes of... Okay, Che, right? Uh, Keche, they was on it. You know what I mean? Um, not to say everyone, you know what I mean? But there were even Castro self. I got a song with Castro and things like that. They were on it. Some of them were on it somewhere. But that's life, I guess, you know? Sometimes some people are going to be like that. They won't see your vision straight away, you know what I mean? But that's how I, I felt, mm. you know what I mean? Okay. But was it even difficult getting them on at the time? Um, the ones I got? Yes. Yeah. Um, no, some of them were very, like, welcoming, in fact, you know. I wouldn't say I've had a bad experience. Someone like EO, I've done two tracks with him. Anytime I holler at him, he did ready for me. You know what I mean? Castro self, I was in London just chilling. Castro, the DM me, say, hey, bro, where you did? Come link me. Like, out nice. of the blue, you know what I mean? And I was like, wow, bro, a whole Castro, someone that I was looking up to, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? So... You know, I, I don't know, those this, this times there was a show called Loud in GH. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yeah. That was when I, I mean, I was really young back then. Like, you know, that was, uh, oh, you yeah. see, you know, um, it was, uh, Dibley was doing the voice mm -hmm. yeah. That's Mr. when you Salah. had the Sway, Donate. Do you know, like, the yeah. YouTube yeah. guys coming yeah. in. Yeah. 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 It was, it was yeah. a nice yeah. Yeah. era. Yeah. 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 GH Rocks and stuff. Yeah. I even, yeah. 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 even yeah. headlined yeah. GH Rocks Chippo. one time. Yeah. 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 True. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. That's when I had, like, Mr. Silver for the very first time. So, like, it means that the work has been going on for a for a minute. But yeah, man. You've, you've experienced the UK market yeah, man. and the Ghanaian market. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the difference? And for us here, what do we need to do to catch up with the rest of the world? Um, I think, first of all, we are catching up. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd just say probably structure, structurally, in the UK, they have certain structures and systems in place where it helps um, artists. You can access funds. If you don't have management and stuff, at least you can go to like the British Arts Council mm -hmm. and you can you hey. can apply. <laughs> you can apply. You can apply for things like help musicians and they go free give I you like see. three thousand pounds for a project if it makes sense. You no, know mm. I mean they got little little things to incentive to push the creative side okay. of industry because I think they see that with music, it's also a tourism attraction. Yeah. Thank if you. guys are popping in your country and mm -hmm. it's going international. They're going to be like, yo, I want to go Ghana. Something like Jamaica self. Jamaica been doing reggae for how long? Yeah. And because of that, people are like, I won't go Jamaica. You know yeah, what I mean? So true. I don't think we're far behind, but we're coming, you know, especially with the new generation of acts that have been coming through. They're linking up with like good distributions and there are distribution companies coming into Ghana from outside. Like I know a couple of my friends who are um, UK based who have come here and set up mm. distribution companies, you know, so... It's getting there, you know. And you come from a, a business background. And as an artist, you know your music. Yeah, man. And then you know your craft. At what point did you see it as a necessity to understand the business aspect of music to make sure that whatever you are doing, I mm -hmm. mean, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years to come, you have some funds there yeah. for you. At what point did you see it as a necessity to learn the business side? I think from... When I said I'll take it serious from 2008, the, the, the lucky thing for me is I had like a senior brother who was also into music, but he, obviously he didn't go as far as I've gone, but because of his knowledge, I would ask him, okay, what do I do? He'd say, go and read this, go and do this, go and do that, and I'll actually go and do it. Yeah. And then I'll see that, okay, there's avenues, something like royalties and so on and so forth and those kind of things there and management and what you can do and what's the splits and... All yeah. those kind of things. So from 2008, when I said I'm going to take this serious, then I said, no, I have to kind of cover all ranges because I wasn't waiting for nobody. Yeah. I wasn't waiting for anybody to say, hey, come. I mean, let me manage you and, and take you. I just felt like, yo, this is my calling. This is my purpose. Go and chase this dream. And if you chase it, I'm sure along the way things will come. So, yeah. So I can, I can say you have made money from music. <laughs> yeah. Enough. Not enough yet, though. Will it ever be enough? It's not enough yet. Indeed, it will be enough. It will ever be enough. It can be enough. I won't be so greedy. You know, but we still got more to do, you know. But like I said, there are walls, structured things put in place. Yeah, in place. So, for instance, if I say I'm not going to do music now, so... You still get your money. I could still get money. Sharp, yeah. It'd be like some residual income kind of thing. Yeah. I'd be with somebody, they play my song right now, as we day for here. Yeah. It's a stream. It's a it's a money. Yeah. So, ego fee still be coming, you know. Okay. So, I mean, do you... Let me just wrap up on this one. Do you often get the the UK-born Ghanaian artists coming together to often hang out, work, mm -hmm. share creative ideas, be in the studio. Because I know yourself, yeah. um, 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 this, uh, oh, my very own guy, Stormzy. Stormzy. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 the likes of Stormzy. Yeah. And I, I know there's a whole lot. Do you have moments like that? Because uh, you, you've been part of a movement and yeah, the movement true. is still going on. So mm -hmm. how do you make sure that it's, I guess, a collective, you are representing the motherland world? Yeah, man, it's about reaching out, I guess. Um, I've, I've met Stormzy at places, you know, um, We've had encounters to do mm. stuff. Uh, we haven't progressed it, but we've discussed it, you know what I mean? So it, it, it's, a, it's available. Um, there's other acts like Uji. Mm -hmm. He's yeah, been doing well. Quams and Flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Themselves, yeah. they'll be my, my boys. Like, um, we started together. Uh, it's something, something fans. Mm. Uh, Pojo fans. fans. Yeah. 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 I've done a song with Pojo fans. I've got songs with Quams and Flavor. Um, yeah, so we do try to uh, collaborate at certain points, you know what I mean? But I think... Uh, sometimes artists have some kind of egos as well, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'll be real. 
And sometimes that can disturb yeah. the vision. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm a person where I look at the vision before the ego. You know what I mean? Okay. Because I want, I feel like collaborating is, is we are creatives. God gave us the gift. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So why not combine and create? You know what I mean? And then find the business strategies behind yeah. to progress. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's only true. going to benefit us both at the uh, end yeah. of the day. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, you, let me get this from you. You are in like the UK scene. A lot of times, especially when it comes to the grind mm -hmm. rappers, they're mm -hmm. always, should I say, is a beef or like they're <laughs> coming at giddy giddy on, <laughs> on Twitter, on social media. It can really get crazy. It can crazy. Even really yeah. get crazy because yeah, 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 I remember Stormzy and uh, Chipmunk, Chipmunk yeah. was mm -hmm. bloody. We were serious. Very, like <laughs> you are in the industry, does it does it improve? Does it change anything does it add in anything? your? Does it add anything to that? It, I guess it's showbiz. Piece. You know what I mean. <laughs> and so long as those artists understand that it's showbiz. But sometimes their moms are involved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Actually, it doesn't even subtract something from an artist because sometimes yeah. the base that they will get is... Yes. Because yeah. if you listen to Stormzy's audacity, yeah. disappointment, yeah, yeah. you could say he, yeah. he was going back to back. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. But have you been... Have you been with anybody else? Has anybody yeah. been with you? Um, not in a musical way. <laughs> Oh, not in a musical okay. way, to be yeah, fair. Yeah. I've had incidents where artists have tried to do things to me and whatnot. But and does whatnot. it have anything to the genre, because of the genre that you're doing? Maybe because you're not mm, doing fine. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. why, personally, like I said, I've come from a path where I was mm -hmm. in the street. Yeah. yeah. So I know that things there. Yeah. I've done grand. <laughs> yeah. Like I can, yeah. I, I've done grand. Yeah. I've done yeah. it. Like I've done clashing guys and things. Okay. Wow. I've done those things. So. But like I said, I felt like when I jumped on this Afro wave, mm -hmm. it'd be a calling. And in this Afro wave, I feel like it's love, it's unity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what okay. I mean? And that's yeah. what's really projecting Afro beats so yeah. far yeah. than any other music. You know what I mean? Even for instance, like Bernard Boyer and I go do some show for Paris. It'd be like Michael Jackson level mm -hmm. right now. You mm -hmm. get me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Grand would be sick and, and it'd be nice. But I don't feel like Grand can gather mm -hmm. people on that energy yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. True. like that. You know That's what I mean? True. And yeah. for me yeah. to go in that lane, I feel like this is the lane for yeah. me because it brings people together. You know what true. I mean? Yeah. I want to bring people so. together rather than yeah. making war I and agree. stuff, especially so, in our culture. In, <laughs> what he's saying people. is true because it reflects when they drop albums because mm -hmm. Stumzy has dropped an album. Yeah. Like, it's super good, but mm -hmm. you don't really get people, like, they listen to they it. Listen to mm -hmm. it but, but, like, when you go to Apple like this, hardly would you get him getting five stars. Mm -hmm. he, he might get one or two. True. So, like you said, the Afrobeat wave, Therefore, like, brings like, people that together. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's, right. it's a music of happiness and, yeah. yeah, just enjoying yourself. So, it would definitely bring big people together. Now, talking about structures, yeah. we have some structures in Ghana here. Yeah. There's Gamro and Musica. And for Gamro, like, no, no, why you not I think Gamro will be the, the, right, the, the, the right royalties people, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Have you joined them? Because I, I haven't, know. you know. I didn't even know how to go about them? it, but I've heard, heard about it. you heard of them, right? Yeah, man, I've heard what, about it. What did you hear about them? I've just heard, like, little things pop up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I've heard stories have come out. <laughs> to be fair, I don't want to bash Miss, nobody. Miss, yeah, I go to Mr. Ajite's office. Gamro's office. And, and, and yeah. I think the story is encouraging enough. Yeah, for to want to he join. will need a split sheet, right? Uh, <laughs> like what I've heard, it's politics. But you have to politics. join, you know. You, again? you do have to join. No, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. So when, when are you joining? As soon as possible. If you give what? me an avenue, I go feed you. Why is Harry expensive? I know he's a girl, so he needs to be part of us. I mean, yeah, man. In the music scene, music are gamro, yes, and all. So, the so you advise that yo, yeah, yeah, I should go there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And everybody go science. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No, I know it's not for us. Why don't you go science? I don't. Can you enjoy your music for free? Okay, I'll get, you, I'll get you on the business side. Yeah, yes. on the business yes. side, yes. yeah. Gamble will help you get your money. Oh, Those ones, are they earning a lot already? Uh, Madam. Let's, <laughs> talk about, let's, let's talk about Let's talk about the grief. Let's <laughs> talk about grief. Believe, Gamble. We've been reaping. On this side. side. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about, I mean, this, because you're coming to Ghana yeah. and you want to, because the article, as I read once again, said mm -hmm. that he thought that Ghanaians were not ready to receive your music, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So years on, that's like almost 11 years yeah, on, you're mm -hmm. coming back in yeah, yeah, yeah. with this new tune. Yeah. What are you seeking to achieve with this? Um, I'm seeking to just, once again, gather my people, man. Like, you know, I want them to know that I'm representing and it'll be fantastic for them to day my back. You know what I mean? I need that home support. This is the gateway. So I want to enter the gateway and, and feel the support of the, of the family here. Mm. You know, so let's reap, man. Africa needs to reap. Ghana must reap. I must reap. You must reap. Yeah. Must reap. So make we reap. Mm -hmm. you feel yeah. me? 
Repent through manifest. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah, get you see, him, the, you man. see, um, man, Mr. Silver re- manifest. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I so, get it. So you have a special reason of putting him on on that one. To be fair, me and manifest, we met like probably them times where I say like things were popping for some festival where we performed to like seventy thousand people. Mm. Like okay. you get it yeah. um, in Denmark. At the, it's called Africa Express Festival. And that's how I met him. And he knew what I was doing. I knew what he was doing. And then along the line, I think he was doing a show before COVID. And he messaged me like, bro, I want you on the show. And I was like, no, no worries, man. I also got this tune. What are you saying? Like, jump on it. Give me a verse. He said, yo, bro, I do for you. No, yeah, I send them. I send them. He do them shout. You know, so that's how we, we interacted. But I also feel like he's a very good artist. You know what I mean? He, he's very different from a lot of artists. Very unique. You know what I mean? So I feel his style. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. In your next project, do you seek to feature any of our Guinean rappers or artists in Ghana here? Yeah, man. Why not? 100%. Who, who will be your preferred choice? Um, I would say Black Hole will be hard mm. right now. Yeah. In general, I feel his whole vibe and energy. Yeah. Uh, I'd say... Sakodie. Sakodie. Yeah. yeah. He did inside, indeed. Um, King Promise be hard. Because um, like no, with, with the way with the way we talk, I need to find some one of the female acts and do no, some true. nice yeah. Yeah. And do some yeah. nice yeah. Yeah. I feel like when you say it will be hard. Yeah. Yeah. It feels cold. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's nice been there for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Even it's Tiffany for comeback now. Yo, I met her last year at the event. She was like, No, I don't want to talk. She just wanted to be Yeah, I feel like we need some like if you know B say what's uh, your friend is saying Ebony. Yeah. Like Ebony, Ebony I felt like she yeah. was really coming to like yeah. hold down Ghanaian women on that side of things. Like we need that kind of vibe, like to someone to stand firm for the the female. Someone like how Tia Sav T or Savage is doing for You know when you say go if you do some nice thing, yeah. Yeah. you reckon yeah. you think yeah. it'd be a good collaboration. Yeah. 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 It's a silver when you shake. When you shake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. I feel you, man, I yeah. Yeah. But um uh, any upcoming projects? Are you working on another EP or an album that yeah, we have to Yeah, expect? yeah, yeah. Obviously, I had my debut um, project, Full Vim. Yeah. So I feel like it's a time to bring Full Vim to. Okay. So this year, um, we're looking at piecing together Full Vim to. You know what I mean? So hopefully, maybe by August times. August. Go see that kind of vibe. Maybe I'll come back again and uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, we'll discuss that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, man. But how was it shooting the video, though? Oh, the video was cold. I big up to um, Kopoku. Uh-huh. You know, Kopoku, right? The guys were shooting yes, uh, yeah, yes. Tog and, you know, yeah. the Kumasi guy. He done, yeah. I think he done a great job. I really like the video. Yeah. He's different. Yeah. And, it's and we like the other one, too, like the middle. The, the, the other middle one. Yeah, the, the middle. The, the inside. The, the, inside. Yeah, yeah. the inside. The dancing and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Desi. Is he the way he's happy? The <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's that's the video on the screen, yeah. right? <laughs> but, uh, Why are you at camp? Oh, that, I mean, they say it'd be nice. <laughs> of course. <laughs> they say it'd be nice, but, be but, nice, like, yeah, yeah, but I like the cattle bit, you know, or horses rather. Yeah, horses. Yeah. I, yeah. I prefer the parts where the, the cow is moving. Oh, and, okay, yeah. 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 And I like your dreads, yeah, yeah on and all that. Yeah, it looks yeah. so good in here. That's the Thank you, man. Thank yeah. you, man. I'll be so fashionista here about. Yeah, 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 I yeah. always want to get into how the directors are able to take that shot. Like the car is moving. I don't know if they mm-hmm. stick the camera on the car. Yeah, they have a mount. Oh, mm. okay. Thing that they can't, like, okay. Count it on the card. And wow. Okay. I always want to see how. Yeah, 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 to be honest, yeah. I've always wanted to do a shot like that. You like, know? That's okay. <laughs> so when you go it out, I was like, oh, yeah, man, some yeah. dreams are coming. Yeah, that, that's dope. Yeah. You get me? That's dope. So for yeah. now, you're on your own, like label, label wise. Um, well, I mean, I'm working with the 360 group right now in Ghana. Okay. Um, which is a good thing. Um, they've been helping me out. We did the premiere at the Bayview Village, mm-hmm. um, which you guys. Um, did yeah. do some news on the yeah, yeah. was there. So I've been working with them in Ghana and then in the UK I'm just doing a partnership um okay. with Club Jemba. So yeah, it's more kind of independent kind of vibe right now, working with different companies and partnership and to see how we can progress. Yeah man. But also interested in investments and any person where they feel like they can yeah. work with this brand. We're open man, you know, Universal Steez. Okay, mm. uh, I think the final yeah. one I would ask is, you know, there are lots of talents. Even yesterday, today, I was watching videos on Twitter with really young Ghanaian talent, but it's always about getting the help from those already in the industry or financial-wise. Is there any plan sort of to 
to to get some young folks in there because well you know you're an established act. Yeah, man. I feel, uh, yeah, man. It's always been one of my um, ambitions to to generate even a label and some kind of program to kind of mentor young talented artists to come through. You know, mm. so um, that's that's in my mindset, hundred percent, to look at the youth because I feel like the youth need avenues. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of very young talented guys here that need exposure. So but if, I, a lot. if I can get to and the levels are, I desire. Yeah. I'm 100% going to be exposing these talents. Yeah, and now you even mentioned that in the UK, they help others if you want some amount of money. Uh, they are yeah, able man. to help you out. <laughs> you think that in Ghana here, there's a way we can actually Hi. work that out here? You know, because there are a lot of artists that are just, struggling and they are good. They just need some little help to be able to be yeah, out. Yeah, man. It's just sitting down with the right stakeholders, I guess, mm. and proposing the idea and seeing how and they, they can see. benefit mm -hmm. and how the artists can benefit. At the end of the day, if you put the right program in, you invest in that in thing, and if the guy goes international and you cut a, a good contract with the guy, mm. I bet you go have a percentage inside. Yeah, yeah, cause, so why not? It'd be business. Yeah. It's just about discussing, you know? We hope nobody will be ripping on this side. <laughs> 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 hey, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But before we go, I mean, your fan base. Mm. Do you have a fan base? Or do you have a name for them? Silver Nation. Silver, Silver Nation. Nation. Wow. Yeah, man. Oh, that's nice. Awesome. nice. Silver Nation. Silver Nation. Also, Silver means something. Yes, oh, yes. Tell yeah. us about yeah. it. It yeah. can stand for spiritual and a strong, inspirational, lively, versatile artist. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, not, not, a silver, silver. Right? not a silver, right? Not a silver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe yeah. just give us a, a, a line from yeah. you, you know, and just um, wrap it. Yeah. Okay. They be creeping on the side. <laughs> they be reaping on my vibe. It be cool though, we be fly. No be say I just go die. Yeah, it's alright. See, we're doing it tonight. Me and my chickens with the shit you put the side. Yeah, bye bye. It's alright. Trust me. All right, man. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Papa Kwame. Yeah. <laughs> AKA. Yo, Papa Kwame. Yeah, that's... Yeah. No, man. Come on. Thank you very much for joining us on the table of life. Oh, thank you and for yes, me. Uh, it's, it's been an honor to have you here. We hope to have you soon yeah, when man. you yeah, release man. your full vim too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, we'll man. be here for you. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much.